This is a 2008 Lexus IS250, and uh, I'm gonna attempt to wire in an amp. This is where the factory amp goes in this car. And for any of you guys that know the problems that these have, uh, where it's located, you can see it's pretty nasty down in there. Evidently some water at one point got down in and it trashed the amp. Like it was, it was all corroded. The car had absolutely no sound. So um, yeah, when I pulled the amp out of there, it was, uh, it was all rusted and these are the pieces that are left over i'm going to show you why it's in pieces here in a minute this is an amp out of a 2005 lexus es330 it's mark levinson so um these two plugs they didn't use for uh they, they could have used them but they didn't use them for the actual sound this is for accessories um i think a six disc changer may be wired in there but these two plugs have all the connectors that these four plugs would on the Pioneer amplifier. So I was able to get the connector end views. So ES330 connector end views and pin numbers, and then the IS250 connector end views and pin numbers. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is I'm going to take my wiring diagram and my connector end views, and I'm going to strip the leads and I'm going to solder what I need for these connectors to the back sides of these so that my factory plugs from my IS250 will plug into these and will go to power this. Now, the question is, why don't you just cut the connectors off and wire these into the stock connectors? Well. Ultimately, uh, if I find an amp somewhere, which seems to prove pretty impossible at this point, unless you pay somebody buku bucks on the internet, um, if I do find one, maybe I'll want to put the factory amp back in it, and I'm not into cutting connectors off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my tools here, my solder, and my leftover pizza there that I just ate. Um, I'm going to get my tools, I'm going to strip the wires, and I'm going to solder all the connections to these pins and make an adapter. So I'm gonna cut these off of here and I'm gonna ditch this circuit board with the rest of this garbage. And I'm gonna make a Mark Levinson amp from an ES330 2005 work in an IS250 2008. All right, I've separated my connectors from my old circuit board. And uh, it was a little easier to just cut the circuit board away because, at least for this one, you can see how itty-bitty those are. I'm going to clean those up and make them look prettier and then solder all my wires to them. Hopefully I do a decent job with that because it's pretty tight and you don't want those touching and shorting out. So um, let's, there we go, a little focus. And then I can just throw this in with the rest of the garbage. Okay, these are the wiring diagrams I came up with. Um, you know, Toyota likes to use bed sheet wiring diagrams, so I had to print these out in uh, separate and then, like, tape them all together. But what I did was I printed out the wiring diagram for the ES330 2005 and the 2008 IS250. And I basically went through, and I know this looks kind of messy to you, but what I did was... Uh, there are different options for nav, without nav, with CD changer, without um, different speaker setups. But I went through and the Pioneer system and the Mark Levinson system, um, the head unit here and the head unit here, uh, it's actually over here that feeds this, uses the same inputs here and here to feed both the Mark Levinson amplifier and the Pioneer amplifier. So... Um, there's a couple extra speakers in this system than there is here, but they're linked together. So ultimately the speaker outputs here and the subwoofer output should match what matches on here. What do you think, Fuzzbutt? You helping? Is this gonna work? Yeah? All right, so here we are. It took me about two hours to solder up those connectors. Um, it was super tedious, but um, what I did was I took some silicone and I insulated around where the solder joints were so they wouldn't touch. Uh, it was a little bit tight as far as using 
something like shrink tubing. But um, we're going to plug it in and key it up and see what happens. Okay, we've got everything plugged in. Time to see if this thing actually works. And then if it does, I'll go ahead and figure out a way to mount this thing and make it look clean. And the red carpet correspondents talked well, to them. Look at that. One of the red carpet. And it works. Fantastic. And that is a Mark Levinson amp wired into a Pioneer radio in a 2008 IS-250.